Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you my favorite Adobe Fresco brush at the moment because they bring out all kinds of new things and brushes and whatever. So at the moment, at the end of November 2021, this brush is my favorite, my best thing about Adobe Fresco and possibly even Photoshop because the brushes can be used in both apps. Adobe Photoshop on my Mac and Adobe Fresco on my iPad. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go for a new full HD canvas size and then check this out. In all the brushes, now I've got a ton of brushes that I can choose from. Now I'm always looking for new brushes. I'm trying to find the best brush for me. So if you go down to copier and if you don't have this, you can press this plus and say, discover new brushes and go down here, go down here, go down here. You keep on going, you keep on going. There, there it is, copier. <laughs> and you say follow, all right. Then it will appear over here. So inside copier, I'm gonna go for Kyle's copier, bigger grain dark, which is this one. And you can see that I've, I favorited it, so over here, that's where it appears. Now, for me, I found it works quite well with black. Um, it's probably really big at the moment, so I'm gonna undo that and just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, now, if you press quite softly, it does, you know, quite a, a nice textured line, and if you press hard, it just makes it really big and fat. But the power is that if you keep on drawing on it, it makes like some water's been splashed on it. It makes it far more grainy and light. It like washes it away. So I haven't lifted my, my pencil from the paper or from the iPad. And you can see it almost looks like I'm creating like water effects really. I mean, just look at that. That is <laughs> amazing. Now if I you know, do some more brushing, it's like a new brush and it doesn't really change what's underneath. But then you can just you know, do the same thing. It just changes the more you have your pencil on the paper and then you can press hard again. Oof, it's lovely. Look at that. Some really nice textures coming through here. And you can create characters, you can draw with this, but for me, the best thing that I've seen or that I've used it for is lettering. Just creating some lettering. So if you go, can I draw on a hidden layer? That's because I haven't got that layer selected. You rock. So that, that's pretty cool already. But if we add a new layer, or we could do it on the same layer, if you just start adding a little bit of this texture, it just looks handmade and, you know, authentic. So, check it out. That, that looks so good, right? It's like, you know, we, we spilled some ink or paint or, and then, I don't know, did some kind of photocopying or something. So this guy, what's his name again? Let's see his name. Kyle. Kyle T. Webster. This guy's amazing. He makes amazing brushes. Woo! This is just one of his brushes. One of his like millions. I don't know if he's done millions, but one of his many brushes. And there we go. You create this amazing kind of textured lettering piece. Perhaps we can even add, you know, a little bit of yellow into there. Something like that. And do some multiply. How about that? Just be like you. Because it is you that rocks. You rock. And then what you can do is check this out. Select multiple, let's group them. Alrighty, 
I'm going to then duplicate it. Duplicate, I'm gonna hide this one. I'm going to merge these together just to create one layer. And then I'm going to double tap on this. So I'm erasing with the same brush that I'm drawing. And here I can just do a little bit of like weird kind of erasing work. I like, look at that. It's just creating some really interesting effects, right? There's like water involved. Oh, it's really, really cool. And if you press hard, then well, kind of just like sponges it all out. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. So this is by far my favorite brush at the moment. It's expressive, it's dynamic, it's random. You can create some amazing stuff with it. If you do use this brush and you're like, oh, I would love to show Rich, please mention me, tag me, comment, do something to let me know what you create with it. Or leave a link or a comment or something in this video in the comments and say, hey, Rich, I made something using this brush. Now, what's really cool about this is you can use it in Photoshop as well, which I love. It means I don't have to do everything on my iPad or I don't have to do everything in Photoshop. I can use them in both apps, which is just, it's mind blowing. It's, it's powerful and it's one thing that Procreate doesn't have going for it. You cannot use Procreate on your Mac, on Photoshop. Oof. So this for me, it's power. All right, goodbye for now.